Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2. I'm JC Proton and we are playing the Riftborn on Endless Difficulty in an endless duration game uh, in a ovoid galaxy of the largest map size. And we are picking up at turn 81. We recently had elections. Elections went fine. Uh, we actually have ecologists leading with industrialists well supported and then scientists right behind them. So that is great. Um, we've got some laws in place, which I think we might be making some changes that happen here. So, strategery. Um, what we need to do to be able to really grow our empire is we need to raise the maximum number of systems that we can uh, can have without increasing disapproval. So to do that, we need to research some technologies. Um, we just finished this one recently, which gives us two. Um, this one will give us another four and unlocks uh, autonomous administration, which you see the big cost there is the 1000 influence. Not like I have a lot of influence happening yet. Okay, so, and it has to be done on a system level colony four. Uh, so to get to level four, you have to build these upgrades, right? These upgrades get unlocked by researching a number of technologies in each tier. So uh, it's, I think it's two to unlock here. And then here you need to have three of these techs on this tier to unlock this one. And then you need three of these techs to unlock this one. That gets you to level four, which then you can build the autonomous administration. Um, which is that there. Okay, so it takes all of that just to raise this by one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, so uh, in order to do those upgrades, you have to um, do the upgrades and you pay for those with luxury resources, which I chose in this game to have scarce. So with very scarce resources, it makes these things hard to come by. Now I do have in my local system, in my local constellation here, um, we have Gossamer, in a good amount, we have six deposits that are nicely accessible. Um, and I say nicely accessible in that some of them are on gas planets. Um, so I'll need to research that technology, which I do have queued up here. I was starting to work on it. And then I was thinking, doing some long range planning, longer range planning, not, not super long, range, but yeah, pretty long range planning. Okay. Um, so we need more resources. We have two, right? We have the, uh, the blue cap mold and we have the gossamer. Uh, there's a teeny tiny bit of super spuds we have off in this corner over here, which belongs to, this is in the Sofun area. Uh, and they have more super spuds, but in order to get those, I, I'll have to conquer them. Um, and it's only the, the, the lowest tier resource. You see they're arranged in tiers. So um, those are the common, these are the uncommon, and then these are the rare. Um, I am currently able to explore up to Curiosity level 3. This one gives you level 2. And this one gives you level 3. And this one gives you level 4. To explore them now if I unlock this uh, a third tech you see I have two those are checked off when this one's completed or or any any other one on this tier uh, in this quadrant uh, that'll fill that out and then I can uh, I will have unlocked and so you get the unlock uh, bonuses here right so that will give me the ability to have an extra singularity It'll give me the ability to use titanium colonizers and it will give me the ability, it will reveal curiosities related to rare luxuries. I won't be able to explore them until I complete this tech here. 
if once I research that, I'll be able to explore them. But I will at least be able to see them. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, I can complete this research in four turns. That will unlock my ability to see if there are rare curiosities or anomalies or whatever at that level um, within my local area, right? Within my local constellation. Um, if there are, great. Um, then my plan will be, so this is like a decision tree kind of thing, right? It's like logic happening. Okay. <clears throat> then I will go ahead and uh, complete these. Computer's lagging a little bit. Um, I'll complete these. Uh, this is two, this is three, so it's, that's these two right here. Uh, and that'll unlock this, and I'll go ahead and start leveling up my systems. Um, and and then I'll complete this research, um, which will take a while. Um, twenty two thousand, and I produce twenty six hundred. So you're looking at about eight or nine turns. Um, whew, you know that's not a quick that's not a quick one, but it's a really important one, right? Because then that will unlock really good uh, tech, uh, the uh, the curiosities. That will unlock my ability to start to to explore those, and then I will start gathering those. And then as I pile those up, I'll be able to use them for upgrades. And then I can do that whole expansion thing, right? So that's one way of achieving it. Um, so I want to do this first so that I can see whether or not they are even here. Um, if they are here, great. Uh, then I'll work on being able to explore them and then exploit them, right? That's the 4X game, right? You you explore, you exploit, you expand, and you exterminate. <laughs> so um, we're clearly in the explore and exploit phases. Uh, I want to do the expand, but to expand, I need to... Um, I need to be able to have the resources to, to upgrade my systems. Now, what if uh, we complete this tech and we get to see the top tier uh, curiosities that are present but not explorable, and I find out there aren't any, or there are almost none? Then that puts us in a situation, right? It's like, well, we have to get resources from somewhere to do the thing we need to do, right? And that is expand. It's an imperative. We have to expand. So it's like, where am I going to go? Well, this is occupied. This is occupied. And this is occupied. So it's like, well, I'm going to war with somebody, right? So the Cravers over here are a higher score than me. They have more fleet than me. They're pretty tough, right? Um, these Vodiani, they're pretty easy. They're pushovers, basically. I could I could crush them, um, and that would be an easy source of transvine. Uh, I could use the transvine, and I could use the adamantium. So anyway, I would I would uh, I would be able to get transvine out of that deal, um, and it wouldn't be too hard to beat them. So that's definitely definitely an option. Uh, I could go to war with the Sofons and uh, grab a bunch of bunch of super spuds. Uh, and that's a bunch of tier one as well. Um, but I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, one thing I'm really lacking in this game is industry. And I was like, you know, there's Jade Onyx over here. And there's Voidstone over here. So I could potentially, if, if I don't have the resources I need locally, I could go for a Hail Mary play and go super aggressive, massive invasion style colony wave uh, where I do a huge colony surge and I basically just put colony ships here, 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 here. Um, maybe both of these, maybe this, maybe this, because there's, there's a couple more void stone there. Um, 
here, here, here. Like something like 10 systems. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for sure. Um, I always kind of hesitate about uh, two planet systems. Colonizing those is always kind of kind of a suspect kind of deal. It's always a questionable choice, pretty much. Um, and then use those resources for my second stage. And that would be giving this bonus for industry per pop. And it would be giving 60 industry on the system. So that would be a heck of a level three upgrade. Now, it's a high risk play, though, because it's totally over here, right? It's far away from my home system, um, and it would be very difficult to defend, right? So pretty dangerous, pretty dangerous, uh, and mm, good chance of failure. <laughs> oh, I, I mean... I don't know. So it, it would be a risky way to go, um, but it's I'd be kind of a high risk, high reward thing because if I nailed it, um, that would give me, you know, basically another 10 systems. I, my empire would double in size. I would have um, good, uh, it would help me out with my industry, my early industry, because you would, as soon as you colonize a system and it, be, and it goes from an outpost to a colony, I would just immediately build all of the upgrades um, and uh, the second tier upgrade would then be including these high industry um, uh, materials. So that is the other thing I'm considering doing. So in order to find out which way I'm going to go on that, uh, to get more information, uh, to make better choices, um, I'm going to go with the autonomous materials because I was previously just saying, okay, we're just going to go ahead and start doing the gas planets and, and get that mining going on those resources but I said you know what first let's get the information to find out if we have if we have uh, the rare curiosities so that's my plan I'm going to get that and then I'm then I'm going to go back to uh, doing the extreme atmospherics and the neural robotics we'll knock those out um, and by then we will have been able to get a peek and see see which way we got to go and then depending on which way we're going to go, we're going to have to build military fleets or build a whole bunch of colonizing ships or something like that. Um, something uh, Zedmore pointed out uh, is that I have a lot of titanium and I don't have all my... Uh, I could build some compression singularities. Um, and I was like, oh, you know what? You're totally right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out something I was missing. <clears throat> so yeah, that's definitely a thing. So I'm, I want to go ahead and get a couple more compression singularities started. Um, so let's do one here because it doesn't really matter where you build them and they always only take one turn. So we'll just take the two lowest Oh, you can only build one at a time? Oh, it's 600 dust. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, let's, 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 let's get some dust here. 140 more dust, huh? Yep, those deciduous trees, man. I just keep, uh, just keep selling a little bit here and there as needed. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, and you know, something else I'm looking at doing here is I want to upgrade my troops. Because we're going to start, uh, we're going to do an invasion over here on these pirates. And probably going to start next turn after this guy arrives. See, they have 400 defenders. I was going to siege it down, but it's going to take a while. 
and I kind of want to go ahead and get that get an output started on that system basically the system uh, does have one blue cap on it um, and that's probably where I'm actually going to put down I got ice barren barren so those are all really easy for me to colonize so I like to put the colony ship on a more costly planet um, and it also has the resource so that'll help me with that resource flow so that's my plan um, so then uh, I guess I'll wait but what I'm looking at doing for the upgrade is going to be something like this and this and this and this and that something about like that where we do extra damage we have extra hit points um, something about like that is what I'm looking at doing which means I'm going to need 2,000 dust so you know what we could just do it Let's see if we're going to get 365, so that we'll have 400. We need 2,000, so we're short by 1,600, so I need 800 now and 800 next turn. We'll see uh, we'll see where we're at next turn on that um, and then since I'm going to be doing the uh, wormhole tech um, I can kind of have some guys hanging around I think I might come back here So there is something here, an atmospheric three. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so that's kind of my big thoughts. Um, now, the laws. Um, we've been running um, Star Boogie. Um, and that gives us three extra movement points. That's really nice. Um, but I'm starting to think that maybe I want to do this one. This one's also pretty good. Um, but strategic deposits, generating extra strategic deposits and extra industry. So I've got one, two, three systems that would benefit from that. All three of whom have leaders on them. I think I'm going to try that out. <coughs> I think I'm going to try that out and see. You see, 780, 309, and 131. Nine eighty one, three 
Okay. We're going to give this a give this a go. Dust to dust destroy the pirates. Yeah, I don't see that happening anytime soon, man. Test of loyalty. So, when I get four systems that have leveled up to 3, then my population will only cost half as much. And then I'm going to start having way more of my population. This, I'm just going to wait for this to expire. Um, that good, good life is not going to happen either. That one's not going to happen. That's not going to happen anytime soon. That's not going to probably happen either. So I've got a whole bunch of quests I'm not doing this time, turns out. <coughs> All right, so that was a lot of chit chat. Uh, now let's move on and get moving. Get this turn going. All right, got those compression singularities pumped out. <laughs> see three turns left on the dilation so that dilation is over here on the Craver home system you know just kind of slowing him down just slowing him down Okay, right. Admiral Fleet type ability, either 10% more damage, plus one movement speed on fleets, um, and plus one probe stock on hero ships, if he's on the Senate. On the fleet, it gives plus two movement speed on the fleet, and plus one probe stock on hero ship. So that's pretty good. That extra movement could be nice. Extra damage is always a good thing. And whole plating penetration. So right now he is located right here. Oh, it didn't arrive yet. I thought it was going to make it. Oh, because I changed the law. I changed the law so he didn't make it. Okay. Okay, all my resources, I, okay, got a, a, a ways to go yet, 8.5, huh? So a couple more turns and then I'll be able to build 
<clears throat> another spaceport upgrade. Lost ratio is fully recharged. He'll go that way. And the scout. He's almost out of movement anyway. Okay. Okay, I think I'll wait one more turn to start the invasion. <clears throat> uh, so if I'm going to get 400, that could give me 16. So I need about another 400. During this flyby, I'm going to get a good look at what's going on over here. shall defend the faith whatever that requires so they're getting aggressive with us they're wanting to fight basically <clears throat> Huh, there were three. I thought, no, maybe there was only one. Well, crap. How strong is he? 69. I'm 72. Fast is he? Four? Okay, he's slow. <clears throat> I 
was thinking I would probably send some probes out from that ship over here. I probably should have done it before. When I moved, though, I would have been trapped with the pirate. Well, kind of the point of the loss ratio is he's sort of expendable. So I'm just going to blindly take a chance. Okay, he'll join the siege fleet, and this fleet is there. I guess I could put them all together, huh? All right, we have... Let's see if we have enough to do the thing. Um, the upgrade. Not quite enough. Okay, <clears throat> we are nicely upgraded. We have autonomous materials uh, completing next turn. Uh, we have a total attack force of 675 troops. The pirates have a defending force of 316 troops. Um, if we just wait and siege them, they'll be gone in six turns. Um, if I invade, they'll probably be gone in three. It will cost me some manpower to do it. Um, but I have manpower now, so it's actually okay. We're generating 81 per turn. So... Hmm... I'm a little bit torn uh, about which way to go there, whether I should go ahead and invade it or not. We're at 991. We could do machine embodiment. Maybe I should let it ride. By the time, by the time I did the invasion, I would probably. Uh, I've already spent it, man. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let's go ahead and do it. It's more fun that way, anyhow. <coughs> All right, let's do it. Let's crush some pirates. Okay. We have these three options. I have a total of 770. Okay, so this is the reserves. 675. So the max is 770 that I can attack with, um, depending on the battle tactic. I'm going to go for preemptive bombing. Um, 
think I'll end up having fewer troops die as a result of that. Could do gorilla. Yeah. Those tanks hit hard, bros. Nice. Okay, that'll be done next turn. Okay, cool. So, and I had reserves so that that'll completely refill my attack force. So, yeah, this will be over next turn. Okay. Cool. So we're going to need a colony ship. <clears throat> Send one to AI. I'll let this I'll let this one more population grow and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending population out that are growing and start sending those to my other systems and since this one is such a critical system that's got four <coughs> has a jade on it uh, has a, uh, a blue cap but it has four of these gossamers I'm going to want to get that system growing soon Let's get through this turn and find out where we will finally be able to see all the wormholes. Whoa, what is going on right here? Those pirates are gone. Whoa. This dude crushed them. Oh, snap. His fleet is 16 ships. Who, buddy. 1839 attack. 4678 defense and 34,000 hit points. How's that compare to me? Okay. Yeah, he's got me outmatched. Um, that's with that's with three siege ships in there. If I take those three siege ships out, then how do we look? 22,000. Yeah, we need <laughs> we need some more military ships. <clears throat> yeah. It's just the Craver style to just come pick a fight for like almost no reason. Okay, and let's see how are they stacked up. Okay, it's all guns. <laughs> the whole thing. It's all guns. Every ship is guns. And their energy defense, uh, with a little bit of with a little bit of armor, okay. <clears throat> so we're both wiping out the, the our 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 pirates in our own constellations right now. Okay, all right. Let's let's go ahead and get this autonomous materials knocked out. Let's advance the turn. <clears throat> Trying to go fast. I'm going. Uh, I'm not really taking a good look at what my populations are doing here. Okay, just a quick peek over here. So here's how the wormholes are. AB goes to Pegasus. Okay, so we knew those. 
Ooh, his fleet just took off and snap, look at that. He's got a presence up there. So he's at war with Rodiani. Okay. Checking to see if there's any other wars going. Nope. Oof. See that? A wrecked arc. Oh. He might take the Vodiani out for me. He, he, he may beat me to it. Your offensiveness drives Horatio to anger and distraction. Our purpose is to kill. You, though, will suffer as well. I would consider it because it's almost expired anyway, but the saying I won't be able to play Singularities for 20 turns... I'm not cool with that part of it. I mean, it's 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 gone in, in one turn anyway, but no, I don't want to lose the ability. I want to have that option. Ooh, that expired. Okay, let's finish this fight. That's fine. <clears throat> we should win this very easily. Yeah, <clears throat> dude has a sword. Here we go. Ruins four. Atmospheric four. Nine hundred dust and thirty super spuds. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. So I think this is now overpopulation. Yeah, the max went down by one. going to go to what system is that AI yeah my 
food production is going down. So the next thing to do is just to go through all of the planets in my system in my, in my constellation over here and see if I can find uh, anything that indicates uh, the really rare things that I'm looking for, those uh, top level. So there's a ruin on an ice, right? So a tier four ruin on a cold. So there's one there. Two ruins on cold. Three ruins on a cold. glad when the single planet systems don't have anything. Because <laughs> then uh, I don't feel like I'm missing out. There's a ruins on the savanna. There's another ruins on a cold, that's four. Four is pretty good. If all four of those are actually rare luxury resource deposits, then that's enough to where I don't have to do this crazy uh, Hail Mary colony rush deal. Ooh, there's another ruin on a cold. That's five. Five. Ah, ah, ah. Five beautiful ruins on the cold planets. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that, actually. Feel pretty good about that. So, yeah, okay. So that means that we don't have to do the thing, which we're not going to have the big industry bonus that those would give, which definitely kind of, kind of sucks. But the plus there is that it's like, it's within my sphere of influence. It's within my control. Uh, I don't have to do a whole bunch of expanding. I can basically just turtle. If I can just hang on to what I've got right now, um, ground battle remains. Okay, that's that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. So probably have five cold ruins. And what would they be? Benthic gems are pressure of deep oceans. I don't remember where, where they're found or those. Huh. 
I know where those are found. Um, those are on Toxic Worlds, and they're amazing. Okay, so it looks like, and I'll, I'll bet you there, <clears throat> I'll bet you there's some over here. Man, how crazy would that be? To start the game and have... To have... Um, God, what are they called? In, endless foundries is what they're called. <clears throat> how crazy would that be to have endless foundries? Oh, subterranean. Hmm. Okay, so I think I think I'm gonna kind of look around the map, and um, I kind of been uh, neglecting my build cues and population movements and stuff like that, uh, in the interest of trying to get some turns advanced. So next we'll be um, getting these gas planets colonizable and getting the neural robotics um, researched. Um, and that'll help me with building out more industry on my systems. And then probably this. What is this? Rip Singularity. Okay. Fold Singularity. So it's for fleet movement type stuff. All right. <clears throat> seemingly so I'm kind of leaning towards that something like that and then this because we want to be able to terraform all the way to sterile <coughs> <clears throat> um, we might end up picking up a tech like this picking up a tech like this <coughs> so I'll have to figure that out those are long times, man. Those are long times. I may want to figure out. I may, I may go with something other than cram exam, actually. You know what? I'm kind of borderline on approval. I'll bet you. Yeah. Let's see it. Okay, so right now I'm producing 2294. So about 2300. I'll bet you if I cancel cram exam, my approval will go up enough that I'll kick up into this bonus level. And it probably will be pretty similar as not running that law. Let's see. So we're at about 2300. Twenty four hundred. Cram exam was holding me back. Look at that, it was holding me back. All right, I got all this dust left over. Dirty hands, mineral misers. Okay, so we could put the star boogie back in. Um, or we could go beachhead bylaw, which I don't think is too early for that yet. Um, brains over bucks. Brains over bucks, my boys. Uh, extreme atmospherics. Let's see, so we're at 24.36. Let's see what happens. So the money is right at 500. Right at 500 dust. Okay, so this will increase my science output by 20% and reduce my dust output by 20%. So this goes down by 200. Now I was at 24, now I'm at 28. So I got, what, around 400 science, and it's costing me about 200 dust. And uh, I'm totally cool with that exchange. Okay. So we'll do that. That's the initial, uh, I think, what I'm going to do here. Um, the other option would be either Star Boogie, Beachhead by, by yeah, that. <laughs> Scrap Kings if I wanted to build a whole bunch of fleet. Um, yeah, cram exam was a losing, uh, losing proposition. Okay. Cool. Those, I think, I think those are pretty good choices. Feels pretty good. So, um, I can just kind of, instead of going balls to the wall, super aggressive, colonizing, 
uh, berserk mode. Um, I can instead focus on like building fleet to defend in case Cravers decide to pick a fight with me. Kind kind of kind of thing. So that's that's pretty good. That feels pretty good. Um, yep. And let's see. I'm going to refuse. I reserve the right to um, adjust time in your space. Because that's how we are, man. We're like we're like time lords or something, right? Creations as you move my fleets. Um, I don't know where those fleets are. Okay, well, you know what, there, Horatio, dude. I, th I think I think your wish will be granted. I think you're about to get what you want. What does he have there? Life form four, huh? Subterranean. <clears throat> That's gonna be a cool resource. Yeah, we're a Calcix. All right, and away we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're, we know we're not going this way. that dude there and we'll send one down this way and then one down this way like what I really want to do is capture whatever's out here I'm going to actually do it like this. And then uh, next turn, he'll send a probe out this way. Just to kind of cover, get, get a good spread there. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to go back. Uh, what do we have here? Unfallen. Okay, cool. Unfallen are usually <coughs> pretty fun to uh, steamroll. Our purpose is to kill. <coughs> no, we'll suffer as well. Yanni's is only war. Haha, <laughs> context is no longer valid. Yeah, because I, I my ship left. Okay, cool. Uh, let's scope this situation out over here. I'm thinking I want to hit Vias and then go back up there, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'll go ahead and go down here, and then let's see who else do we have. We have these guys down here, right? There's like a couple.
Let's see if this radius is enough to reveal this before I move this guy. Yep. Yeah, and he's got his stuff closed off. Closed borders. Can't blame him. I'm definitely being kind of a jerk towards him. But then, like, my behavior is that of a jerk. But, like, he is a jerk. <laughs> <clears throat> like, I'm just acting like a jerk. He is a jerk. So. But that's just cravers. That's just how they are, man. Okay, well, so that is like that. Then I'm going to roll this way. In which case, this guy doesn't need to go down here or down here. What are the odds? Seems like we're basically at the edge of the Craver Empire out here now. So I'm thinking maybe there's not pirates down here, so it might be okay to go find out. Taking some risks here. Okay, that we got lucky on that one, and that's okay. It it it's it's the loss to ratio, you know. And at this point, these scouts are so far out, far out, man. Um, that, and they're not really that upgraded. I, I I'm kind of okay if, if 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 I lose them, sort of. But I'm kind of not because I really would like to get. Sim camp, <clears throat> dudes. If I can get sim camp, that will really help us out with our our industry problems. Yeah, we definitely have some industry problems. It's it's it's, it's pretty challenging. But let's see. He's done with his movement. Fleet. How much industry? Okay, he's eighty five. So we we don't have. Only things to explore. Are here. <sighs> Should probably station my fleet here. I need to build more fleet. I think what I might do is I don't need the fleet over here with him. I could just send the leader here. But if they're with him, and he's really fast, and if these guys are with him, they all get the experience when you. Ex I, mean, I think when you explore like a pro, uh, curiosity or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it, man. Subterranean one, so that's going to be like a jade onyx, probably. No, I uh, I keep saying the wrong word. That's probably orichalcix. Yeah, cool. Good to have that. Now we need to get a deposit of 
Um, Quadrinix. There's adamantium. And there's antimatter. Okay. I think... I think that's pretty much most of the important stuff for the turn. Um... there's anything left yeah just just that okay so uh, i guess i guess we'll take a, a pause on the recording here at this point and uh we'll see you we'll see you in the next video man um keep those uh keep those um comments coming suggestions those are <laughs> definitely helping me out um likes and subscribes i got a new subscriber today i'm like woohoo so uh um uh the name escaped me, but I subscribe. I subscribe back whenever, whenever you you subscribe to me, I, I subscribe back to you, and I start. You know, I, I check out the content on your page and stuff. I wanna, I wanna see what you got going on, man. So, uh, so I, I definitely do that. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, like, subscribe, um, comment, suggest, all, all of that is good. Um, very much appreciated and very helpful. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for all that, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.